Let's design a worm gear, an ideal solution for amplifying torque or slowing down motion. First, we declare some variables for the gearing. These variables were collected from Machinery's handbook. They establish relationships between the worm and worm gear, the details of the actual gears, and allow us to configure this work we have done for other sizes and gear ratios. A variable studio will define the number of teeth, then later allow us to reference this value in the part studio and assembly. Next, we create a sketch showing the relationship between the worm and the worm gear using variables. Subsequent features and sketches will all reference this parametric sketch. To get the tooth profile for the worm, we will create a helix that will be used as a sweep path created using the helix command and a sweep profile referencing the sketches and variables we have already established. We will remove this from the cylinder. We can create the worm gear with a custom feature called spur gear. Custom features are helpful tools that can extend the capability of part studios, automate everyday tasks, and boost your productivity. Anyone with an OnShape account can create and share custom features using a feature script. But you can enjoy the benefits of custom features without scripting experience as I have with the Spur Gear custom feature. I added explicit make connectors that other features and sketches in this part studio will reference. Additionally, these make connectors will also help create the assembly. To create the housing for our gear set, we can derive our initial layout sketch and another sketch from our gear train part studio. These derived sketches will reference all other sketches and features in our housing. We add make connectors to this housing as well to facilitate assembly. We can place the housing in the assembly, enable snap mode, and install the worm gear and high speed shaft to create the assembly. Snap mode places the gears in the correct relative position with respect to each other and the housing, but it constrains all degrees of freedom with the fastened mate. We can modify these to be revolute mates to allow each part to rotate. To allow the gear ratio to reference the variable we created for defining the number of teeth, the variable studio needs to be referenced by this assembly. We can create a gear relation between the two revolute mates and apply the variable for the teeth to help visualize the motion. To finalize our design, we can create drawings and renderings and even share portions of our design with a publication. I hope this was useful and you learned something new and you try to create a gear set of your own.